Okay, so right now I'm in the how for review section on my YouTube comments page. I've uploaded a few videos that people seem to heavily disagree with. I'm not surprised though. I'm really not surprised. I would have definitely also disagreed back in the day when I held the same opinion as a lot of these people. But you're always learning and I'm also always learning and I don't claim to be 100% right. Maybe I have spread that bias in the past. But I really don't mean to. If there's evidence for it, I will believe that the Egyptians had Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, 5G, fiber, cell phones, video chatting. Okay, so here we, okay, so here we go. Show hidden comments. Fuck. And so this is on my, he's not an, in quotations, expert, Uncharted X featuring Flagrant. So this was when Uncharted X here on Flagrant got called an expert in the title. Just listen to the first few seconds of this podcast. Everything you about ancient history is wrong millions of views so i made a video on it so this is by sakura turbo man look pyramid was built by aliens egyptians got credit all this dumb bleep don't know a thing thing about ancient civilizations i really know it, it was built by aliens for sure comments by pete rowley 2014 stfu karen you clearly haven't got a fucking clue what the fuck you're talking about sound like a moron as well Get a real job instead of making shit YouTube videos. 181 subscribers? I wonder how much you have to pay your family members to subscribe. They could move million tons of stone. Oh, let's address the 2 million tons of stone first. That's is that the pyramid weighs 2 million. First of all, get a real job, bro. YouTube ain't my job, my boy. And 181 subscribers? I mean, look where we are now. If you're not subscribed. God, shit, prove this guy wrong. Uh, click that subscribe button and that like button. Would, would, I would appreciate it, no cap. Here we got Adam Abdallah, you're an idiot. Brian Walski, whoever runs this channel is bleep, I don't want to get. We got Dovian Graciano, wait until you find out all the history books you're jerking off were written and published by people like Gesslein Maxwell's father. Who the fuck is that? I don't feel like googling who that is, but that's definitely an insult. For show, sure. um, but I mean, could be, could be, bro. The history books for sure could be rewritten. It's happened multiple times and it can happen in the future for sure for sure he basically said some of the stones weigh over two to three tons you are not even listening you fucking twig shame on you for making this empty unfounded garbage i mean it's not unfounded the things that i'm saying the things that i'm saying it does come from things that i've learned things that have overwritten what i previously thought and if you look at the picture that i present in this video it really looks plausible that this thing was built with by first of all human hands Second of all, that it, it, it looks likely that the Egyptians could have made this. Like, it, yeah, it's an incredible structure, but is it impossible for the Egyptians to have made? I don't think so. The wall within the Sphinx with the water erosion is the same age as the Sphinx itself. This video is horrible. And then we got uh, Krolo 2K851. You are a brain damaged. Odd word, my friend. Yeah, so basically my point there with the Sphinx and the water erosion was that the limestone that the Sphinx is carved out of has already been eroding, right? Especially in the enclosure. That is the lowest part. Before the Egyptians even carved out the ground, that limestone has already been eroding for millions of years. And to the wall being the same age as the Sphinx, it's possible that the stone is the same age, but my point is that it's on different elevations. So it's going to receive different um, levels of erosion. Yo, this sh shut the fuck up, you Karen guy commented twice because it got sent to the Howl review section. So I don't have that many crazy comments in the Howl review section, but there are still a lot of people that disagree with me within just the regular comment section, and you will see a lot of it. So we got Jason Walter. I want a good explanation on how the pyramids were built, and don't you dare say slaves did it. It doesn't matter how many people you have, it's just not happening. So what you're saying is no matter what explanation I give, you probably won't accept it because you just said it doesn't matter how many people you have, it's just not happening. Well, I think you don't really understand the logistics of it, Jason Walter. And you could argue that I don't understand the logistics of it and you would be right. But humans have done absolutely crazy things in our lifetime and the pyramids are one of them, right? Humans built it. Did the Egyptians build it? I've got a full video coming soon answering questions that a good commenter left. And on top of ancient architects and the videos that Matt's done, which I can point people to, this will be 
my kind of video that I will amalgamate everything into and you can watch it and you can watch it and think for yourself. I'll give you the context. I'll give you everything that you need to make up your own mind on where the pyramids built by the Egyptians. Stay tuned for that video. I love this comment. Anunnaki, lost technology. <laughs> I, like, I like that one. Less than 200 followers, lol. Won't get more with these types of videos. Well, yeah, true. <laughs> and you might be right. I'm not the biggest fan as well of what I was doing here. I don't really provide much background, but I will continue to do videos like that. Nothing's going to stop me from going over some wacky podcast clips, but I will provide more context in the future. I'm not just going to say, what? Lol. <laughs> you know, get a new voice. Just terrible. Yeah, I don't think it's my voice you have a problem with, my guy. I think it's the way that I communicated certain ideas. For sure, I, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. <laughs> Fuck, is my voice really that bad? This is crazy. The JRE podcast is not a documentary, for fuck's sakes. It's entertainment. In case you forgot, Joe and Cat are comedians. You spelled Cat wrong, my boy. Don't worry, I made that exact same mistake when I uploaded the video. Actually, no, I didn't spell it with a C. I spelled it with one T. They're probably high as fuck. No one with any intellect takes it 100% serious. Except for Joe Rogan saying, what year was this? What year was this? It's entirely possible. Except for Joe Rogan saying all this. Like, he, no, he's taking it serious. He's taking uh, They both taking it seriously. I, I, I kind of disagree. Joe does have experts on his show. Talk about an armchair researcher. Okay, I guess we were armchair researchers in a way, right? But what I, my point there was armchair researchers going on to podcasts with millions and millions and millions of views to just talk about a site that they don't actually know what's going on. And I would rather have an expert and when i say expert i mean in egyptology or archaeology i'd rather have an expert go on and spread some way more interesting and factual information that's pretty much what i'm talking about get off youtube your opinion is relevant well your opinion is also relevant your your comments irrelevant my boy but it's also teaching me that my opinion is irrelevant but i mean all of our opinions are relevant right like even you commenting this is actually relevant isn't your comment irrelevant no you would say your comments are relevant. Be quiet and let them talk. Your commentary is unnecessary. Nine likes, bro. <laughs> Nine likes, dog. Oh, and, and like two other people commenting below that. So I said, just like Graham Hancock said about the Egyptian quote, if we give them writing, their words, their words will go unchecked. The reason I commented this is because if you give someone a platform with tens of millions of listeners, their comments will go unchecked. That, that was my point with that. <clears throat> Your voice mid video not needed. Then go watch the podcast, bro. Go watch the clip. If you want some different like opinions, my boy. Stop talking. Damn. <laughs> they click off the video. <laughs> what? Why are you watching? Why you continue to watch, bro? Um, but if you want to learn, then continue to watch. Type shit. But yeah, that's going to be it. I had fun going over these comments. It's always fun reading the comments and it's fun replying. It's fun seeing people's different opinion. It's cool discussing things. So if one of you would like to get on a Discord call and we can discuss some things, we can talk, that'll also be interesting. I just thought about that right now. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Leave your opinions down below. I don't know when I'll make another video like this. Be subscribed, notification bell, also turn that shit on so you know when I upload. Come on, bro. And also, I'd hello appreciate you liking this video. But yeah, thank you so much for your time. I love you all. It's been me, Andrew. Peace out.